This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2009 GMC 3500 HD. That's a one ton regular cab, dual rear wheel. It's a six liter gas V8 um, work truck with a really, really expensive, really cool aluminum. They call it a lunchbox truck bed uh, made by Omnivan. It's 12 feet long. Um, it's four feet tall and it's eight feet wide. Um, I'll open these boxes. It's going to be a little awkward I, with the camera in my hand because I got to, it's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> so my camera work won't be so good when I go to open those doors, but I want to show you how they work and operate and everything. Anyway, we bought this uh, from a fleet company in Vegas. Uh, I'll show you the auto check, which is basically they service, fleet companies service their vehicles in-house and they service them all the time. Um, so it's very rare to get a commercial truck uh, with a 4.1 condition report, 4, 4 out of 4.1 out of 5, never happens. This one had happened. Um, anyway, it's got uh, 58,953 miles and it's amazing, amazing truck. Um, if you need something like this, I was picturing, I'm like, what would I do with this? If I own one of those, like those, uh, like those food trailers that you tow around to fairs or whatever, just to food areas, I could put all my dry stuff in this trailer and, uh, and then just cook out of the, out of the trailer. That's what I do. Now you could have a bunch of tools in here. You could do a lot of stuff with this, with this uh, box. It's pretty cool. It's got two tanks. You know, so it's got long distance capability. Um, let's see. Oh, and the tires look like they're brand new, uh, which is a nice thing to have on a truck. You know, it's ready to go right now. Uh, pulled the dipstick, the oil looks brand. I mean, this thing is just, it is what it, this is its biggest flaw. Somebody bumped in here somewhere and broke the tabs off the, off of the uh, bumper cover, upper bumper cover. I mean, crazy. I'm not sure if they decided it would be a good idea to put tires on it right before they sold it. But they usually sell these things just because they've been sitting around not being used and they'd rather have the money and go get a new one. It's kind of crazy. I mean, this truck has to be able to serve the purpose that they bought it for originally still. All the manuals still in the wrapper. here right look at the dash that's a uh, backup camera it's uh, actually a rear uh, mirror that's constantly on so you can see behind you the whole time which is nice okay now for the hard part let's see if i can do this here there we go hey, that worked out pretty well anyway these little dividers i'm gonna leave them in here hopefully when we go out on our bumpy road they're not banging into each other but uh apparently they're little partitions you can put in or take out or whatever so you go like this, boom, that's that. There's this one. That's what they look like from a step back. There you go. So that's that. There are your rear tires. Looking great. Omnivan, right there. In case you want to call them and ask them exactly what it is. See a lot of freaking TIG welding here. This thing's kind of cool. I'm not sure what you put in there, but I'm sure you can be creative and figure something out. Somehow pin something in there that they want to pin in there, right? Well, there's a little lock for it right here. All right. This one. This is kind of cool, too. So, you can lift these up. And then they have this little thing to hold it up like that right same thing on this side so you go up and then like that boom that's that all right so that's that done a little ding right here this mirror so you can see around the corner while you're on one side of it so that people aren't stealing from you I guess a little thing right here you could probably just push that up same thing over here rear 
tires. Gas fill here. Gas fill up there. This here, Dover roll rolling shutters. It's pretty cool, man. Really cool. I think maybe this box was an Omnivan and then they modified it with these shutters because in the pictures I found they all swing up This is probably a lot of money for these Save some space There's your key locked and unlocked These are actually keys for the locks on the doors and they do work um, Till wheel All right, let me show you some stuff. Actually, let me Let me fire this guy up All right, so you got 58,960 miles. Turn that on out so you don't have to listen to that. See how it's got the continuous uh, camera on in the back so you can see rear view mirror light. All right, so this is how we bought it. There's the VIN, 58,953. Auto grade of 4.1, that's 4.1 out of five. No structural damage, it's kind of obvious. Um, purchase date was 10-28-22. All this stuff. This is all scanned in, and you'll have a link online. Here are the tires, right? Ba -ba 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 -ba. All the uh, stuff it has. Although, when they say like XM radio, this thing doesn't have any XM radio and stuff. So this is just kind of boilerplate stuff. So you kind of got to watch the video to know exactly what it's got. Um, all right. Here's the auto check. This is the vehicle history. There's your VIN. Again, this will be uh, linked in the uh, ad also. Give it a 95 out of 69 to 84, so obviously a very high score. Uh, no title brands, obviously. No accidents, no damage found. Um, no odometer rollbacks. You can see the mileage going boom, 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 all the way down here. Then it's just got crazy service detailed that was the then they go to the detailed history right so it's lived in Vegas its whole life so it's been nice and dry I mean just I mean look at how much they service these things it's crazy so there you go anyway there'll be a link for that um let's look underneath here and see if there's a you can also tell that when the vinyl floor doesn't have holes in it from the workman's boots, it doesn't get used much. Another good sign. All right, let's go under the hood. There we go. This makes me laugh. So on top of a motor, you have a thing called a plenum. They actually call it an engine, engine cover. And it's a big square thing on a 6.0. And it just sticks on these little points right there. I guarantee you it was in service so often that every time they took it off and serviced it, finally someone stepped on it and broke it. So you can buy one online for like $70 if you want one. But uh, <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that it's not there. Well, that's what happens when you take that cover off every two, two weeks to service the truck. You're going to have parts missing or you're going to step on the part or something. It's the one downside of being diligent. <laughs> mess with something enough I'm gonna break something right all right let me get my seatbelt on here all right let me turn the air on and it's a freaking hurricane I don't know if you can tell open the vents here it blows great of course it was a Vegas truck so it had to oh let's see what else let's see turn signals Turn signals, windshield wipers, tow on and off. Let's see, let me pull it through here. You also, let me turn the fan down. Let's turn it down from Hurricane. You hear the beepers? There's your camera going. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Let me pull out the gate. Put the trap me in here. Wait for it to open again. There we go. All right, so put it in park. Radio it does have a radio and a CD player, which is kind of cool. 
Um, power, three, power. Only, the first Let's see. Make sure you're listening with Max Shannon and Porkchop tomorrow Let's morning. Man, oh. XM does have XM. 920. Races in the state there of New York. There you go. Oh, Sean Hannity. There you go. Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Okay. Um, if you need help with shipping, uh, once we receive full payment, um, let me know if you need help with shipping. I can do the shipping for you. Um, I will tell you I paid $900 to get this truck from uh, Vegas to Tucson quickly. I think if I were to put it online for about $700, it would have taken a week or so, but it would have gotten here. So that kind of tells you, and that's good climate. So if this ship were shipping to Michigan or something, I'm guessing, you know, now is when the climate starts affecting shipping. So it, it could be anywhere from, you know, $2,000 to $3,000, unless there's some guy who's going directly to where you live that lives there so that's kind of how it works you know pay more get it quicker that type of thing but if you need help shipping we can include the shipping price with the uh, price of the vehicle so you just make one payment and I'll handle the shipping you're welcome to handle it yourself I don't really care but uh, I'm pretty good at it and uh, that's it uh, deposits $500 once we have a deposit we have a deal until uh, we have a deposit will stay for sale by the way this thing is a big truck with a big box on it in the back and it's not rattling or anything it's like very car like in how it runs it's very nice to driving vehicle really nice anyway uh, make sure you get your deposit okay um, we don't want anyone to uh, you know make an offer we accept their offer um, and then five hours later they get home to show their wife and it's sold already well, you know, because we, we keep it for sale while it's pending a deposit. Uh, about two miles from here on this exact road is the Auto Mall here in Tucson. At the Auto Mall, they have salesmen to pay. They have beautiful properties with fountains and perfect pavement and all the stuff that's really cool and fluffy. They've got a guy at Precision Toyota that serves scones and lattes, and they have a game room. And every time you go in there and buy, you're paying for that stuff. Um, in fact, they add quite a bit for that stuff. Um, we don't have that, so you're not paying for that with us. That's how you save so much money with us. Um, they also know that if they sell you this truck for that much money and something breaks, you're gonna come in and you're gonna yell at them because they sold it to you for a lot of money and they should fix it. Well, they build five to $700, sometimes up to $1,000 uh, for future repairs so that when you do come in, they don't care, they just say, hey, fix it. And if they can't fix it for that amount, they just give you all your money back and sell it to somebody else for the same amount they sold to you. <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> yeah, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna, you know, spend $3,000 repairing something. Well, we save you a bunch of money up front by not having sales, but not having lattes and scones and a game room and look at this road we're on. You wanna check for uh, vibrations? This road will do it, okay? Um, you save a lot of money by not uh, having to deal with them and dealing with us. So please realize the only caveat to buy from us is that you're the owner on day one, okay? We are not writing you a check for anything at any time ever. It doesn't matter if it's an hour after you own it or three years after you own it. It's your truck. We give you all this information, tell you things that are good and bad. If this had a problem, you would know. Um, it doesn't have any problems, but it doesn't mean it won't have a problem tomorrow. We are not Nostradamus. We don't BS people. We don't have a single vehicle on our property right now that we would tell you is perfect or won't break. So if you need that, you know, that warm, fuzzy feeling, go spend the extra four or five or six, and this truck could be 10 grand over at the auto mall, and you'll have a little bit of warranty. That's what you should do. But uh, we don't roll like that. We save you all the money up front. This is a really nice truck. Very tight, shocking good ride for what we're dealing with here. Um, also, when I'm watching the videos, I can see like, when I look through my camera, it looks like it's flickering. This is not flickering in, with your eye. It has something to do with how close the camera is or something. Let me see if I can demonstrate that deal to you somehow. Put the wheel down a little bit. 
kind of interesting. Kind of, eh, kind of when you get closer, kind of. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's. It just looks. When I'm looking through it, it's flickering. With my with my naked eye, not looking through the camera, it's fine. So there's something about. I don't know, some sort of speed of the camera or something. It's technical. I'm sure my brother's probably laughing and mumbling, shut up, Roger, right now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. What else we got here? Lights, lights. Here. Oh, it does have OnStar, which I'm not going to push because I don't want to pay for that. Oh, well, that's our detail right there. 185 bucks. Price of 180 bucks. Price went up recently, of course. All right, I think that's about it. Hop out here, leave this truck here for my brother to take photos of. That'll be that. We get, uh, what is it? Uh, 17 minutes and 38 seconds, which is some random number that YouTube gives us for a video. But uh, that's how long we get. So I like to use it all. That way, which the, the sun got to the headlights a little bit. Not too bad. Kind of see it. It's more on the other headlight. This one's not. That one's a little bit better than that one. They're not terrible. I mean, they're fine for driving and stuff. But again, my job in these videos is to tell you how great this truck is. It's to tell you what's right and what's wrong. More what's wrong, so that we don't get yelled at. I don't like to get yelled at. I don't think anybody does really. Roll this window up. We had to get this truck back from detail quickly because I think it's going to rain tomorrow. Thanksgiving was last night. Hope everyone had a good time. We did. Really good time. Anyway, I think that this is just about it, man. Really nice truck. Thank you for your time.